So guys, Combat Diaries is here and it's actually a massive update where pretty much all the bosses will have certain tasks that you can do that if you complete them within a certain tier, say easy or a master tier or something, you get certain rewards, kind of like the achievement diaries that you already know. These ranks are pretty insane because it goes from like easy all the way to Grandmaster. Grandmaster is basically like the end game of PVMing for the most part. The rewards are pretty nice, a lot of quality of life towards Slayer stuff, like for example, your Jazz task can become 3 assigned instead of 1. You also have higher chance to get clue scrolls, you have better teleports to God Wars, some cosmetic redesigns for like your Slayer helmets. The biggest cosmetic flex is definitely the Suck Slayer helm that you can get from completing all of Combat Diaries. PVM is what I do and it's what I've done for years, so I think completing all of Combat Diaries will be a very nice milestone as a PVMer to be able to complete that. So yeah, a lot of these tasks, uh, especially the Grandmaster stuff is super difficult that even I will have trouble doing and I'll have a lot of practicing to do. And apparently, I already have 96 combat tasks completed. And those are probably just like KC ones or something like that. So yeah, because I already have the KC, it's just automatically gonna finish those for me. But yeah, I have 300 plus tasks to do. <laughs> so my strategy starting off the Combat Diaries is just to freestyle. There is a lot of tasks that are group based. So if some of my friends are trying to recruit me for a certain group task, I'll definitely try and go and do those because those are not something that I can just do on my own anytime, anywhere. So I kind of need to wait for other people to be ready for it. So those are going to be like the most um, priority for me to just try to get done. But other than that, outside of it, I'm just going to do whatever I want for a bit. Though eventually, I will go for the combat diaries in order from like easy to like grandmaster. So the first few tasks that I'm going to try to work on is going to be the hard mode theater blood tasks. They're all grandmaster, but that makes sense because hard mode top is basically end game content already. And the first task is to not let the blood spawns in meta room create more than 15 blooded tiles now luckily it's not too hard to do because we do have this ability to trap the blood spawns at the entrance as long as you yeah just lower it there at first and then do not touch the butt trails anymore after that it won't spawn anymore and that's easy task easiest grandmaster task ever but they already patched it though unfortunately so you can't do this trick anymore so the next Grandmaster task I did for Harmo Theater was Nihilo Sniper. So the point of this task is during Verzik fight, you must kill the Nihilos before they explode on their own by getting too close to somebody. So you have to attack them and kill them from far away. And luckily, I'm really good at that because I've had so much practice already in the other runs. So yeah, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> That's good. Give him a double. Oh, someone got a purple double too. Chest. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> no way, I, I just finished the items. <laughs> no way, that's so lucky, dude. That's so lucky, oh my god. If you are really enjoying the combat diary progression on Iron Bar, I have a special offer for you. I have tons of clips. If you guys hit a thousand likes on this video, I will release the next video within the week. So get to it. I managed to get all the unique drops and multiples of like the kits with the dust in 133 KC. So that's super awesome. Like very grateful for this. It's been a while, you know, since we have such good luck at a new piece of content. So this is nice to see. So the metamorphosized theater blood pet is the rarest variant of pets in the game at the moment, just because the content is so new. And also the barrier to entry for this content is also incredibly high. Probably like the highest in the game for any sort of group contents. I like dog variants of pets, so I would say Dark Beast is my favorite. A lot of those other variants are really cool too, like Sarpis is really cool, but yeah, Dark Beast takes the cake. And out of all my pets, I would say between Mudadon and Dark Beast, those two are my top two for sure. And I'm going to be rocking the Dark Beast Soda Seg pet for a long, long time for sure. So in the game setting, there is a combat achievement task notifier. So if you turn it on, it'll let you know when you mess up a task. As soon as you mess up or someone in your team messes up if it's a group task. It's really nice because that way I know exactly what I did wrong or what my teammate did wrong. So we can fix it for next time. 
So during release week of the Combat Diaries, there was a lot of glitches, and there were some at Heart Mode Theater. We could not complete the Nala Prince one, only one of us out of five people completed that task, even though all of us technically did it correctly. Also, we could not complete the Perfect Dark Beast, even though we didn't take any damage. So yeah, that was a bummer. But yeah, most of these bugs are probably fixed by now. So the hard mode top grandmaster tasks, a lot of them are super hard, especially the time stuff, but we did manage to get a few tasks done, which is nice. Unfortunately, could have gotten more, but the bugs, you know, just messed it up, but good enough for now. On to some other boss tasks. So I got some group stuff out of the way, and it's time for me to focus on things that I'm good at on my own, like the gauntlets. I've done close to 2,000 corrupted gauntlets on this account alone, so I feel like I should be able to complete all these gauntlet tasks both hard and normal without too much of a problem so let's go ahead and do them so i think the hardest task for corrupt the gauntlet is definitely the grandmaster speedrunner task where i have to complete it in under six minutes and 30 seconds luckily for me i've already gone that time i think i have a 608 or something like that or 610 in the past and they didn't reset that time because in the gauntlet, you don't bring in any uh, equipments outside. So blow pipe and stuff, which got nerfed, doesn't affect the time. So I didn't have to do that. And yeah, I only had to do some of the easier stuff. Uh, like, for example, just making sure mechanically you do everything correct. The 3 2 one, one the perfect Humlet one. And uh, there's also one where you don't have to do armor, but that one was actually a bit tricky, but... Not too hard if you just go in with a full inventory of food and two tier three uh, items. And uh, the hardest one outside of the speed running was definitely the tier three armor run. I decided to stack it with a tier one weapon as well, which was kind of a cocky idea, but I managed to make it work. So I got both of those done at once. The last task I had to do was the no prayer potion run, which was honestly really easy. Just tier two armor and yeah, just prep accordingly and you'll be fine. So the next thing I moved on to was Nightmare because I got the tablet now so I can teleport back there really fast so I can do these speedrun tasks. Super nice without having to go back and forth a billion times. And um, yeah, the Nightmare task was really easy compared to something like Hard Mode Theater Blood Task, that's for sure. The time trials, uh, we managed to get that done in a few tries. The five-man Grandmaster speedrun, yeah, I think it took us like four or five attempts, but it wasn't too bad. And I also did some of the other miscellaneous ones like kill all the huts in one shot using the D2H of course, OG strat. Also I went for the solo nightmare time. I managed to complete that in one try. No joke, one try. It got kind of close though. I uh, almost ran out of food but you know I managed to clutch it. Thanks to you know the 1000 plus solo KC experience it really helped a lot. But yeah that one was a breeze. I managed to get like 7 plus tasks done all at once. From just doing that one solo and there's one task that i haven't done because it was glitched at the time when i tried it it was not using a single prayer point i feel like i can do it just yeah the glitch makes it not doable i think it's fixed now by the time uh, this video is out so shortly after the corrupted gauntlet task i decided it's time to also just do the normal ones because might as well you know it's like a set of sorts and most of the tasks are pretty much the same type of challenges Except it's a far easier version because normal gauntlet is just far easier. Except for one task. There is the speed running task for Grandmaster that's sub 4 minutes for normal gauntlet. And that one was actually quite challenging. Because the way you have to prep for it is just very different from what I did for the 6.30 time for the corrupted gauntlet. So the best strategy that I found after experimenting for quite a few hours was that you definitely want either a tier 3 bow or staff. And then you want it, the opposite weapon uh, to be tier 1 or 2. Ideally tier 2 if you get a really nice layout with Scorpion or something at the start. And like a Dragon Dark Beast. You have a good chance to make a tier 2 weapon as well. And it makes 5 to 1 nicer because sometimes you fuck up. And you have a tier 2 to help you go through some of the uh, slower bits of the fights. And you really only need one prayer potion. You really should not try to make more than one. Sometimes not even any. And you want to make... And you want to get at least, I'd say, somewhere between 6 to 8 food. Depending on your experience, you might be needing a bit more. But honestly, you just have to reset a ton. If you don't find uh, good mobs in the first two rooms or so, and you don't find like a demi-boss on your first initial scout, 
then you have to just reset pretty much. So lots of resetting and just getting the right layouts and also knowing how to fight the boss of course helps a lot. Dude, I think I just got it. Oh my god, what the hell was that RNG? Ah, <sighs> finally. Dude, what the f hell was that? <laughs> I was just hitting 30s the whole time. See, RNG. It's actually quite nice to be able to complete some of the boss task sets entirely. Like, Corrupt the Gauntlet and Gauntlet, definitely my cup of tea. And that's a good start, but there's just so many Grandmaster tasks that I feel like I'm not currently capable of doing unless I actually put in some practice. So, yeah, look forward to those. I got invited by some homies to do some Theater Blood normal mode for some of the tasks. So we started off with the Maiden, of course, being the first rooms, the easiest to try to go for. So the first task we did at Maiden is the No Prayer Loss one. It's a little tricky, but not too hard. Had to bring like really good magic gear though for the freeze without using Augury, but other than that, it's pretty chill. And then we also did Perfect Maiden, which means that we had to mechanically dodge all the obstacles. So whether it's Bloods, we couldn't get hit by that, we could not uh, be off prayer, etc. And then we move on to Bloats. There's a task that you have to kill it in two rotations. That one's a little tricky, but um, yeah, it's just a bit of RNG, honestly, and that's it. And then we proceeded to do the Perfect Bloat, which means no flies and no getting stomped, etc. And then we move over to Dark Beast. There's one where you have to survive at least three red balls. And I think they have to be take eight. So that's how we did it. We waited till three and we did that and it was done. And uh, also we moved on to Sarpus. There's this pretty simple one where you have to do melee only the entire team. So that one was not too bad. And shortly after we finished the perfect nylon. That one's a bit tricky because the major can just use barrage all the time. So the pillars definitely took some damage, but yeah, we just had to be careful and make sure we hit the right style of the spiders the whole time. And then we tried to do some versic ones as well. We ended up completing a task called Pop It, which is similar to like the sniper one in Harmo, where you just have to kill the spiders without it hitting you at all. No damage taken. And for the last one, we did Perfect Soda Sake. That one was a bit trolly because of all the ball bouncing, but we found a way to kind of just do it easy. Two people in the back with T-bows and one person on the farther end side opposite of us. So that way the balls never split other than when we share the ball. All right, I'm going to complain about the bugs one more time just because there was a task where you had to do the theater blow without a scythe. And we did pretty much like four of them with the non sites and we couldn't even complete it. So yeah, that glitch sucked, but apparently it's fixed now. I think most of the bugs are pretty much fixed now. All right, we're going to try to do uh, some chambers tasks because some of them are groups only. So we definitely want to, we definitely want to try to get some of the group ones done. Uh, particularly the trio stuff for sure. We want to get these done, but this one might be a little challenging. 1430. I think this one we have a, we have a shot at here. 1630. Without, like, we can probably get that without too much practice, but the 1431, though, is probably going to be a lot of practice. For speed runs like this, for chambers, you want to find the best layout possible that can give you the fastest time, and that is most likely going to be a variation of Fasa, Tecton, Fispila, or Fispila, Tecton, Fasa. And luckily for me, I just found the Fossa Tecton Fispila that out super fast and yes we didn't even prep for that uh, run because yeah you're you're not gonna want to prep because that'll lose you a lot of time so with the overloads that I got from Tecton we were able to just do the entire raid and ohm with that and the supplies that we got from Fossa the bruised the enhanced the restores and Fispila yeah we were able to just complete the raid using that and honestly, it was quite a surprise because I've never actually raided with these two other people in chambers. I've done some with Gozu, like a TOB and stuff, but not chambers. So this was a surprise that we actually managed to do a lot more than I anticipated on our first try too. It was actually crazy. Oh shit.
Oh, we actually got both the tasks done? No way. Damn, bro. That's crazy. We got we got both of them done. Damn, Grandmaster 2? What the fuck? Okay, guys. Damn, never mind. We <laughs> Yo, I thought the 1430 I do I thought the 1431 was gonna was gonna take a bit more, to be honest. Woo, baby. Oh my god, that was close. Woo! There we go. Nice. We did the Vanguard task. That was a little tricky. Shortly after, we went and did a bunch of easy tasks like killing Matadao, uh, doing a raid without dying once, killing Tecton without taking any damage. And we ended on a pretty difficult challenge called the Perfect Ohm, which meant that you cannot get hit by portals, uh, crystal falling from the ground. Spikes on the ground, flame wall damage, and uh, I think prayer orb damage as well. Initially, we went in with three people and tried to do the own without failing any mechanics, and it just kind of didn't work out because it would just be like one simple thing like flame wall that would mess us up. So instead, I decided to just go in with three people, but I would fight Ohm pretty much alone. So I did the Ohm solo uh, with a scale of two extra people by myself. And on the first try, I messed up, but it's okay, you know, I, I haven't soloed in a while, so I just needed to warm up, I guess. And I was able to do it on my second try, and with a scale of 1 plus 2, the melee hand did not cripple that much. So I was able to 4 to 0 a lot on the melee hand while I was maging. So that meant that I avoided a lot of chances of failing from like portals or something. Because, yeah, just less time on the melee hand where he can actually attack me. But it worked out pretty well, so... We ended the nights with the perfect Ohm challenge completed. Towards the very end of the head phase of Ohm, I ran out of stamina, so I took the risk and asked the two homies to go in and help me kill it, and it worked out fine, because, yeah, the only thing we had to watch out for at that point was just the healing pools, and it didn't have much HP left anyway, so we downed it before I could do that. Come on, kill it before any, uh, any, any heals. Bliss. Yo, we got it. That should work. Nice. Perfect ohm. Let's go. Uh, this is my current progress so far. And we have done 17 out of the 69 Grandmasters already. So that's pretty good. This alone probably takes more time to do than all of the other five tiers combined. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that way you don't miss on future progress videos on Iron Bar because it's going to get spicy with combat diaries and race through very soon. And also to like this video because a thousand likes and I'll put out another prize video within the week. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later.